Hello ladies and gents, welcome to another repair video. So, in this video today we're going to be working on this Xbox One S, which I purchased for £60 from Facebook. Um, this Xbox One S was part of a couple of consoles I purchased. Uh, I bought a PS4, which the disk drive doesn't work, um, and I purchased this. So I paid £60 for each of them. The PS4 disk drive one I've just gave to the kids because I stole the hard drive out of theirs and they don't use discs anyway so I've just left that one as it is and uh, just gave it to the kids. Um, this one the seller said it's stuck on an update at 52% um, so yeah let's first of all let's plug everything in see if we can figure out what's going on with this and then see if we can fix it. Uh, so the update stuck at 52% um, issue it's usually down to a bad hard drive uh, which is why I was happy to pay £60 for this um, we might be able to do it without paying for a new hard drive but uh, we'll see right ok so Let's turn it on. Okay, it turns on, that's good. Ooh. I'm not sure if you can hear that. It sounds like there's a disc stuck in there. Yeah, there's definitely a disc stuck in there. He's trying to get a, a disc off. Okay, um, yeah, so it's at 52% exactly like you like said. Okay. Right, I'm going to leave this running for a little minute. I'll see what happens. And um, then we'll disassemble it, give it a clean, take the hard drive out, test it in the computer, um, and see what's happening. Right, okay. So, um, I'm only about a minute past, and we're getting this screen, the E100 ever. Um, E100 is usually a hardware failure. So I'm going to say this is probably something to do with the hard drive. So let's uh, let's pop you back onto the console. I'm just going to unplug it. I'm not concerned about turning it off, especially if the hard drive is faulty anyway. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's open this up, shall we? Let's see what we can do. It's a little bit dusty. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Right, okay, what we got? We've got a one terabyte hard drive, so I'm hoping the hard drive's good. Um, let me get a paintbrush. Here we go. Let me just get rid of some of this dust off the top. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can see it's, um, it's really dusty. So the console's probably overheating as well. Right, so... <coughs> well, that's dusty. Apologies for the bad lighting in that bottom left corner. Yeah, I, I just need to leave the... Uh, <coughs> I just need to leave the door open for a minute because that dust's going everywhere. It's not good. Not good for your lungs, not good for your chest. Uh, so what I'm doing now is just popping the hard drive screws out. So that's this one, this one and this one. And the hard drive should just drop right out now. Good. Excellent. Wow, this is definitely going to need to be um, completely stripped. What was that? Okay, something just fell inside there. Was it a screw off my screwdriver or something? I don't know. Definitely going to need to be stripped down and cleaned thoroughly. Well, first of all, let's take out the hard drive. So I can check it on the computer, see what the status of it is.
Okay. So there is our hard drive. Let me just shut that door. So it's a one terabyte Toshiba. Um, pretty common drives in these. Right. I'm going to pop this into the uh, computer. I do have hot swap enabled on this motherboard, so I don't need to shut the computer down to plug it in. Okay, let's pop you over to the desktop. There we go. Yep, so the drive is definitely full tech. So the Toshiba 1 terabyte, the drive is full tech. Um, it's had a lot of use, 10,000 hours. So 447 days and 12 hours of power on hours. Um, and it's been powered on 31,000 times. So. Yeah, if this isn't the original drive, then it's been upgraded with the second-hand drive, and that's probably why it failed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just replace it with a standard 500 gigabyte because that's all I have at the moment, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about that. Uh, so there's a 500 gigabyte. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in... I'm going to unplug that one. And I'm going to pop this in. Um, re scan. There we go. And we have a good 500 gigabyte disk drive, which is fine. Um, sorry, I just went to unplug that then. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open up an elevated command prompt. So that's running as administrator. And I'm going to run my software. For the create Xbox drive. Okay, doc. So we're going to say replace without an original drive. We're going to select the disk five. And we're going to say yes to erase all data. And we're going to select A for a 500 gigabyte. And that's going to run the software to format the drive. We're going to see a load of windows pop up now with some uh, errors and stuff. Okay, software is okay. Dog, the software is done. So let's close that, and then let's close these windows, and that drive is ready to go into this console. So we're going to unplug this. And I'm going to give this uh, drive caddy a little brush down. Sweet. And I'm going to have to pause the uh, the video in a minute because I've got someone coming to pick up a console. So. I always seem to choose when someone's coming to pick a console up to uh, to start a video for some reason. Uh, either that or my phone goes crazy whenever I do pr press record. But never mind. Right, let's find the screws. 
I'm just going to pop this drive back on its caddy. I'm not going to install it yet because we need to strip the rest of the console down for cleaning. Okay, good. There's our new hard drive, 500 gigabytes. It's not really an issue um, being 500 gig instead of a terabyte. Uh, I just haven't got any one terabyte drives available right now to replace it. So, I mean, it's my console. I'll be selling it as a 500 gigabyte. So it's absolutely fine to uh, to replace it with that one. I'm not really worried too much about that. Right, so let's just remove the rest of these screws. Then I'm going to remove the. Uh, I'm going to disassemble the disk drive as well because it's looking like I might have a free game in this one. Um, probably the third free game I've had since I've been doing work from home. Um, the last one I had was Halo Master Master Collection, um, which is pretty cool. I gave it to the kids. Uh, I remember Halo from when I was um, from when I was younger, when it first came out on the original Xbox, and uh, it was pretty sick. Remember the big, fat, old OG Xbox, the massive one, uh, the one that used PC hardware, or pretty much PC hardware. Of course, that was a revolution of its time. Now we look and laugh. Okay, so I've just got to get these front panels off as well. So let's do that before we sit there trying to rem trying to remove the motherboard. I'm using a TR9 for the uh, the black screws. Three screws here. Cool. I'm going to be careful now. There we go. Let's pop that uh, screw guide out. My partner still calls this a bridge. This is a bridge according to my partner. Yeah, I don't know. They're non-technically minded, eh? Right, let's, uh, let's pop this dish drive out, shall we? Oh, some nice, some nice clumps of uh, dust there for me. Right. Okay. So, apologies for the lighting. It's very bright out today. Uh, it's not sunny, but it's very bright. You know, it's not. It's not warm either by any stretch of the imagination. <coughs> okay. Right, before we go any further, let's see if we have a disc in here, shall we? So to open this is really, really simple. Uh, we've got a TR9 screw here. 
a nice big one. Uh, I'm just going to shut this door. There we go. So we've got a TR9 screw there, and then we just need to pop that out of the way a bit. It does bend really easy, but it's, uh, it's fine. It does bend back. Then once that's out of the way, we're just going to slide this off, just like so. And then we're going to unclip the cables. And uh, that just bent back nice and easy. And then we've got four little Phillips screws here, which we need to remove. Okay, so using a PH0, I'm going to pop these four screws out. And you can only see two, because the other two are underneath this little foam here. I think it's a, a kind of anti-vibration foam. So we're just going to peel the foam back a little bit. And we can get to them screws. <coughs> Same for this one. And then the disk drive will pop open. There we go. And there's no disk in there. Okay. So that means that this disk drive is probably faulty. Because there's no disk in there and it's making a weird noise. Uh, which isn't a problem, I can change it. Um, all I've got to do is change this motherboard, pop this motherboard into it. Um, but I'm not going to yet. I'm not going to change it yet because I don't know it's faulty. Um, could have just been, it could have been the fan, it could, it could have been anything making that noise. Um, so I'm not going to change it just yet. I'll pop it back together for now. It does look clean inside, but I'm not going to change it just yet. I'm going to wait and see if it actually works. There we go. So let's, uh, let's pop this back together. Like so. And it doesn't take long to check the disk drive. And uh, the disk drive would have had to come out anyway, regardless, because we need to clean it, or we need to clean the system, rather. So it's fine, we don't need to uh, worry about that. And of course my screwdriver gets stuck. Right, so let's pop out the power supply. Good. starting to tickle my nose as well now. Power supply is out. <coughs> and uh, I'm just cleaning things as I go along. Right, let's, uh, let's try and find my screwdrivers first of all. There it is. So I'm going to pop out this little USB cover. There we go. And now this should pop out. Sweet. And it was a screw that I dropped. Cool. Right, let's move the motherboard. I'm just going to give this a brush down. There we go, nice and clean. Uh, 
And finally, the motherboard. So I'll just, go, I'll just gave that a basic push down for now. Okay, so very brief intermission there. Uh, customer County Collective Console. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's carry on with this, shall we? So I'm going to take the heat sink off so we can clean it and reapply some fresh thermal paste. I'm going to put my ow. I'm going to put my glove on. Uh, let's pop off the heat sink. There we go. Didn't even stab myself this time. I'll say that, I'll probably stab myself in a minute. I also like to stay away from uh, from this bit here because that's the one with the um, the closest traces. So I tend to avoid that one. <coughs> As I say in all my videos, uh, where I'm taking the heating off, it's a very dangerous game to take that heating off, and you don't want to do it. If you don't want to stab through that board, um, I should know. I've done it. Oh, ooh, lovely. Nice bit of um, fur in the morning. No pun intended, ladies and gents. Okay, so I'm going to give this heat sink a clean. Um, I'm just going to use a paintbrush and just brush through all the grooves. Get all that dust out of there, and um, then we can clean the rest of the board off. Okay, so there's a lot of dust underneath the fan on this one, so I'm going to take the fan off and uh, clean underneath it. Might as well get it looking nice and um, beautiful. So, I'm just going to try and uh, try and remove this fan without damaging the heatsink. There we go, and you can see it's pretty dusty under there. So, we need to clean that as well. And now we have a beautifully, beautifully clean heatsink in, on the inside. Um, this heatsink can live for another few years. And I'm going to do the same with the fan. Okay, so it's not pristine, but um, it's clean enough. Uh, there's no dust on it, it's just um, a little bit marked with uh, old dust. Well, there is a bit of dust on it, but you know. Okie doke, and we have one beautiful looking clean motherboard. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take off the old thermal paste off the heatsink and the APU and uh, put some fresh on. Right, okay, so I'm just gonna. I'm not scratching at the APU. I'm just um, picking away at some of this thermal paste which is stuck. So um, do not go scratching your APU. Okay. <coughs> So we're not going to get all of this clean. Um, these things never come pristine clean unless you sit there for a considerable amount of time. But a little bit of um, a little bit of residual thermal paste around the edges is not going to hurt anything as long as we keep, we keep the middle clean.
Okay, let's just give it one more wipe down. Okay, that will do. So there's a little bit of um, thermal paste in between those, uh, I think they're transistors. Um, but I'm not going to sit there scratching away at it just to get that little bit off um, and risk damaging the APU. Um, it's just not worth it <clears throat> when it's not going to affect the performance of the console. So let's get some thermal paste. Apply the perfect amount. Lol. Let's start a war in the comments about the perfect amount of thermal paste, shall we? Um, and now I've got to work out which way this thing goes. Okie doke. So I'm going to flip that around. go good let's put the fan back on and that doesn't go that way around does it of course it doesn't There we go, that's the way. Right, let's pop this back on again. I always get that mixed up. Okay, fan is back on, and let's start reassembling.
ladies and gents, is one clean, fully reassembled Xbox One S. Cool. So let's plug this back in now. And I'm going to take my USB with OSU1 on it. Turn it on. And that disk drive is definitely going to need to be replaced. But let's get the uh, console up and running first. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to format this disk drive using FAT32. Just like so. And then I'm going to Take my OSU one system update file and pop it onto USB. So I'm going to let that run, and um, then we'll get this installed and get this console back up and running. Okay, so real quick, just while I uh, wait for that to copy, um, what I've just done is I pressed the power button uh, sorry the eject button on the console and then popped a disk in and it took the disk and as you can see taking discs in now uh, so I'm not sure if it's reading obviously because we haven't got the software installed but we're going to leave it until we install the software see if we can install the um, a game on the disc and if we can and if we can play a game off a disc then we'll leave it and if not we'll change it so <coughs> Software is just about copied over now. 15 seconds left. Um, hopefully we don't have to replace the disk drive because I don't really want to open this up again. That's lovely and cool now there, that is. Um, no issues at all um, with heating. Or overheating, rather. Right, so let's switch back over to the camera. Let's pop the HDMI back in. And just pop in the USB in. Should pick up any second. Hmm. It's not picking up the USB. That's strange. Right, let me try my other USB. Right, just pick that one up. There we go. So let's leave this to run. Let's see what happens. Uh, hopefully, it gets past fifty-two percent, but it should do. Shouldn't have an issue now. Um, I'm going to say more than likely this is going to work. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so I've tried the uh, update twice now, and both times it's kicking itself off when it starts to install. So it's copying over fine, it's verifying the update, but then it's just kicking itself out. So, one thing I've noticed is that the disk drive is spinning when uh, and trying to kick a disk out when it's rebooting uh, and when it throws out the error. So, I'm wondering if there's possibly something wrong with the disk drive and that's causing it to throw out the error and stop it from updating. 
Um, I know on a PS4, I'm not sure on the Xbox One, but on the PS4, if the disk drive is faulty in any way, it will not let you update. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the disk drive over quickly. Um, and I have, I have, I have got it to, I have got it to actually install the, uh, to actually take a disk in, but it's just not, it just doesn't seem to be want, to, it just doesn't seem to want to uh, update, and it's, it is still trying to spit out a disk randomly. So I'm wondering if maybe the the console's checking the disk drive, realizing that there's an issue with it, and then just um, throwing it out. Uh, that is a possibility. So what I've done is I've taken a replacement disk drive and I've, re I've already removed the motherboard. I'll show you how to do that on the disk drive that we're actually going to be taking the motherboard from to swap over. Uh, but this is the daughter board uh, that I've just removed from this disk drive. I don't know what console that's from so I'm going to have to put that to one side. Um, it's from my pile of spares but uh, it could, could also be off a drive off a console which I'm working on repairing so um, yeah we're gonna get this back open we're gonna change this take this daughter board out and swap it over for this one swap it over to this disk drive and see if we can get this uh, disk drive to work as it should okay so I've popped out the screws for the hard drive caddy and also for the disk drive uh, so there's only one screw for the disk drive, but you have to take the hard drive out as well to be able to get to the connectors. So I'm going to pop the console out of the way for a moment. And I'm going to remove the plastics off the disk drive again. Take the Phillips screwdriver And now, what we need to do is we need to remove this daughter board. So, to remove the daughter board, uh, this daughter board is basically married to the console, uh, which means that this this daughter board needs to be working, um, and it also needs to be transferred over to the new disk drive um, in order for the new disk drive to work. So, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the three ribbons. So, there's one, two, three, and then we need to desolder these two wires from the motor um, I think they're from the motor um, but we need to desolder these two wires and then we need to put the new put this board into the new drive so we'll start by removing that ribbon there that ribbon there and that ribbon there and then we're going to pop out the screws that are holding the board in these are just Phillips screwdrivers Phillips screws they're uh, I use a pH zero in the iFixit kit for these so we'll take out those screws there we go And then the board will pop out, but we still need to desolder out these two wires from the motor. So to do that, I'm just going to take my soldering iron, which is already warmed up, and I'm just going to pop some heat onto the connections. There we go. So that's the do that's the daughter board that we need to keep. That is the old drive. So I'm going to pop that over there. And I'm going to take the new disk drive. And pop that into place. 
now let's screw this back down and this really doesn't ta doesn't take long to do especially when you're not on camera uh, you could probably take change the disk drive around in about five minutes so let's pop the ribbons back in Okay, and finally we need to solder those wires back on. So I'm going to add a tiny dab of flux. You don't need to add flux, but uh, but yeah, um, it's it's a lot easier with flux, right? So these wires uh, are actually marked B and R, and that literally means black and red, so you're not going to go wrong on soldering these on. Obviously Microsoft knew that, probably knew that people are going to need to change the disk drive once in a while. It's actually very rare that the disk drives play up on these. There we go. So let's just um, clean off that tiny bit of flux. We don't want flux dripping everywhere. And it's only a small amount, but we still don't want it inside the disk drive. Okay, so that is the new disk drive ready. So now let's take our top plate. Good, and that disk drive is ready to be installed back in the console. So this time, I'm not going to be stupid enough to put it back together. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pop the disk drive in to the console yeah I'm going to pop that into there like that and uh, let's just power it on let's See if we still get that weird noise. Uh, 
and also whether we can update it or not. So while that was doing, I've just copied, um, I've just reformatted my USB drive because I don't really want to use the SSD, it's a bit intermittent, uh, or the external SSD rather. So I've just popped it onto the USB drive um, using uh, NTFS. It was on FAT32, but for some reason it didn't accept it, so um, yeah, it's just one of them. Right, so I'm turning that on with the uh, controller. And uh, let's pop in the USB. And that disk drive is now working. Um, it's not making a weird noise anymore. Going in smoothly. Okay, for some reason this for some reason this console just does not like this uh, US oh there we go okay for some reason it's not working the front USB doesn't seem to be working um, I can figure that out at another point another point in time uh, let's run the OSU though and see what happens right okay so it appears that this is not letting me run the update so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my own Xbox One S, uh, this is my personal console, and I'm going to run the update on this hard drive but through my console. And I'm just going to confirm whether it's going to be a console issue or whether it's going to be a hard drive issue. Uh, but the hard drive is reading as good, so there shouldn't be any reason why it's not working, uh, why the hard drive is not letting us update. So my console. I haven't opened this console in about a year and a half. So we see how dirty it is. Wow. That really... I genuinely have not opened my console for about a year and a half. I have not cleaned it. This shows how often I get to use my console, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it really does. It just shows just how, how often I use my console. I just don't get time. I genuinely don't get time. There's a few screws missing. I could replace those while I'm uh, while I'm here, I suppose. I genuinely haven't opened this console in a considerable amount of time. The last time I opened this console, um, I didn't really know anything about them. Hence, hence I broke the plastics on it. Um, I, also, I had to replace the uh, well. The last actually, the last time I replaced my co I opened my own console. I did an LED mod on the um, front panel, and the LED mod I turned it, turned the LED red, and it looked real cool. It looked really nice. Um, and then, unfortunately, um, the LED stopped working and. I had to. I, I think. I, I think I ended up breaking it or something, and I had to replace it. I had to replace the front panel. But uh, yeah, right. So let's take this USB drive, and that's another thing. The front USB isn't working on this white console, so something somewhere is wrong. Um, but let's. Let's try installing the update first. So I'm going to take the HDMI. So this is. Whoops. So, so this is my console, like I say, with the uh, hard drive out of the white. Um, hard drive out of the white console. So I'm obviously expecting an error here. Yep. 
there we go, E106. So I'm just going to sync the controller. Oh, that was it. I broke the sync button. I broke the sync button. That was what I did. Um, so I couldn't sync my controller. So I just ended up replacing it. Right, let's run an offline system update. Okay, so that's going to run through the update and then uh, we'll see what happens with it. Hopefully it'll install and then I can pop the hard drive back in and hopefully it'll run. But uh, I don't know. I'm sceptical. But we'll see. Oh, okay. So this isn't updating on my own console either. So this hard drive is reading is good. But it's not working. Which is very, very strange. Right, okay. So let's find yet another hard drive. Shall we? Three hours later. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go, ladies and gents. We have passed 59%. So, <laughs> what that means, of course, is that out of all of these hard drives, this Xbox doesn't like any except for mine, which sucks. It really sucks. But what can you do? That's just one of them things. <coughs> So in total here, I have sixteen hard drives, fifteen here and one in the console, and several of them are reading as good, but the Xbox doesn't like them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this five hundred gig in here, and um, if I have to use this one to play for a little while, I will because um, it's just one of them things. Um, and then I'll buy some more. I'll, I'll buy myself a one terabyte hard drive just to be able to use in um, my own console. So I'm gonna let this run, um, and I'll be back in a sec. I'm super happy now because this is fully working. This is gonna be fully working, hopefully. Um, but I'm very happy. Uh, okay, it's just rebooted. Three hours fifty-five minutes. I've been three hours fifty-six minutes. I've been recording so far. Okay. So for some reason the HDMI went off. Then I don't think it rebooted, but um, the HDMI went off. I'm going to leave that to run. I'm going to uh, go and take a quick break, and I'll be back when this is done. Right. Okay, ladies and gents. Great news. This console is running. Right. So let's uh, let's run through the setup real quick, and then. Uh, then I'll come back to it. Uh, let's use a wire connection. <coughs> so Wi-Fi is working, <coughs> but we're going to use wired. Cool, good, connected. United Kingdom. Oh, I've never been so happy to see that green sign in all my life, ladies and gents. Let me tell you now. But that is the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. And we're done, finally. 
this has been one hell of a ride on this console ladies and gents um, right so all that's left to do is to reassemble this thing and uh, and call it finished so I'm gonna shut this down uh, actually let's uh, let's check a couple of things first so we're not console banned which is good let's have a look at the settings So 1080p, which is fine. Oh, damn it. Console info. Yep. Storage. Good. Cool. Nice. That's fantastic. So, everything's done there. Um, what I'm going to do now <coughs> is I'm going to shut it down. And we're going to rebuild this so as it's uh, so as it's complete. Um, so all I've got to do, I ha I need to test the disk drive. Uh, that is one thing I need to test. Um, but it appears to be working. But what I need to do first is I need to just well reinstall the uh, disk drive caddy. So I'll do that now. So right now I have four and a half hours almost of video to edit. Four hours and 17 minutes. So it's going to be four and a half hours by the time this is finished. Um, which is really annoying considering it was literally just the hard drive. But for some reason, even though... Even though the um, hard drives are reading as good... Literally every single drive I've got in here, apart from the one on my own console, is being rejected by the uh, by the console. It's, it's just not letting me run the update, which is really annoying uh, because I've spent hours on this, and I don't spend hours on customer consoles, let alone on my own. Um, but a bit of determination. And the good thing is I can use this console so this is a fully clean console so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna and I know this console is working now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as my own console for a little while um, because I need to order some hard drives I've got literally I mean you can see them in the bottom left hand corner of the screen there's a pile of hard this is how many hard drives I've tried with this console some of them are reading as good, some of them are reading as warning. Um, a stack of hard drives. So what I usually do is when I take a hard drive out of a customer console, which is um, faulty, is I'll put them in a pile because people on eBay buy them. And I know that sounds a bit shady, but it's not. Because, like I said, people on eBay buy them as faulty. And all of the console, all of the hard drives here, all of the hard drives I have here read um, on the computer, but they either won't read in a in a console, or they come up as faulty, uh, or or they come up as a warning on the computer. So they all read, they all actually power up and actually work technically, but they've all got some sort of a smart error. Um, so they obviously can't be used for a console, but someone will use those and, and fix them. Um, you know, you'll find uh, data recovery places, buy them and stuff like that. So when I get to 50, I'll sell them all and I'll just put them on an auction with a pound starting bid and just let it run for whatever it wants to run for. Um, and it doesn't take that long to build 50 up, really. So it kind of uh, it kind of makes sense to just save them. Okay, so let's um, let's screw everything down for the final time. Hopefully, awesome.
Beautiful. Uh, there we go, ladies and gents. One completely reassembled console. So let's pair this on once more. <coughs> Isn't that just the most beautiful sight you've ever seen? The Xbox logo. Okay, so literally the only thing that's left to do on this now before we can end this video is just test the hard, t test the disk drive. Make sure it's reading a disk, make sure that it's going to reinstall the disk, uh, and that's it. So I'll put FIFA, FIFA 18 in, which is my test disk. Fantastic, that's reading and that's installing as well, which is brilliant news. Um, we're all done. Um, obviously, I've got to wait for this to install before I can actually run it. But this console is fully working, which is great news. Um, it took a lot of time and a lot of persistence uh, and a hell of a lot of patience, but yeah, it's, uh, it's there, it's done. So. Yeah, this is working. The disk drive is working, Wi-Fi is working, it's connecting to the internet. Um, it's not console banned. It's great news. So, let's just summarise. So, I'm just going to unplug the HDMI. <coughs> so, just to summarise, this console was sold to me for £60 uh, on Facebook. And it was stuck at a 52% update. Now, the update... Could have been two things. It could have been one, or it could have been one or the other, or it could have been both. Um, number one was the disk drive. So the disk drive was obviously faulty. It was making a weird noise. Uh, it was trying to spit out disks randomly. Um, so that could have stopped the update. And also the hard drive that was in there, the one terabyte drive that was there, was faulty as well. Um, I confirmed that by plugging it into the computer. Um, it took four and a half hours. Um, not not constantly. I've I've you know walked away and gone and done other things and been to the shop and things like that. Gone and made myself drinks. Um, but it, all in all, it took four and a half hours to get this console working. Um, and the only reason for that is because the hard drives that I've got, unfortunately, I've mixed up, um, and I don't know which are custom hard drives and which are my own hard drives. Some of them are reading good on the cons on the computer. Some of them are reading bad. Some of them are not reading at all. Um, but I need to make sure I need to go through these and just check them all, see what what and see what's working, see what isn't, um, and what can be used for a laptop, what can be used for a console. Um, so that's obviously something for another day. Um, but the reason it took so long is because for some reason this console didn't like any other hard drive except the one out of my own console. Um, which is really really annoying because now I've got to reinstall all my software just for the sake of confirming that this console was fixable. Um, so the hard drive been replaced, it's now got a 500 gigabyte hard drive in instead of the one terabyte, which isn't a problem. I'm gonna use this console myself um, until I get myself a one terabyte drive. I'm not gonna bother putting mine back together until I've got myself a one terabyte. Um, but other than that, this console's fixed. Everything's working, the disk drive's working, Wi-Fi's working, connects to the internet, it's not console banned. Um, and all in all, worth the £60. Um, thanks very much for watching, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, as always, leave a like on this video and please subscribe. It does help the channel out a lot. Around 95% of my viewers are not subscribed. And I'm really trying to get to the 5,000 mark. Um, but other than that, thanks very much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.